Okay, today we're going to show you how to do a long layered haircut. And this haircut is really easy. It's simple. It's fun because you do it on dry hair. And so I'm just going to make sure the hair is dry and straight. The reason why we're going to do this haircut dry is uh, it's really hard to comb the hair straight up how, where we want to get it if it's wet and this long. And also it's easier to put the texture into the ends while it's dry because you can fan the hair out. And so that's why if you wash it, just dry it and flat iron it. And then you can start your cut as soon as it's dry and straight. All right, so she has such long hair that I'm going to have her stand up. I'm not going to have her sit down on a chair. I'm going to sit down on a chair because it's easier for me to do that. Make sure that their feet are the same spot on the floor. The one's not bent, one knee's not bent. You want to make sure that their shoulders are straight, they're looking straight ahead. And then you're just going to comb the hair down and grab the middle section. This is just going to be your bottom length, so you need to decide how how long you're going to leave it or how much you need to trim off. I'm just going to take about an inch and a half off. And I'm point cutting because I want her texture to be really soft. I don't want there to be any hard lines in these layers. So once you get that middle section, that's your guide and you're just going to Go from there over. So all of her hair is coming back here in a straight line. Point cut a line. Like this. So we'll do some layers around the front a little bit later. Move your feet. So there you go. Put them back together. There you go. And then look straight ahead. There you go. Okay, looks like we got all the split ends off with that on the bottom. You want to just make sure that they're even, both sides. Point cutting is really fun. It just gives it a really soft look on the end. If you want, you can go through and cut it in once you get your length established. Just go through the bottom and just, we're not doing length anymore. We're just doing texture. Just texture these little ends. A little bit. So you just go in and you just cut straight along with the with the hair and it just kind of texturizes those ends. Mm -hmm. Always make sure that their cape is over the chair. Otherwise you have hair falling in between in their back and their clothes get all hairy. Alright, so we're going to pump her up a little bit here. So now this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a part. We're going to leave an inch to an inch and a half out of the perimeter, out the front. Just take your fingers and start where it's parted. And I just go down until I touch the ears and then I move up about an inch. And then I go around to the back. And so this whole section of hair is what we're going to work with next. And you're going to pull all of it up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure that it's not too low. You don't want to go below this bump, this roll in the head right here. If you get down too low, you're taking too much out of the bottom. So for this, we just want to keep it right around the crown. And so you have this shape. You have it kind of comes to a point up here by the ears, but you still have an inch down here, about an inch and a half. All the way around. Okay, so now I'm going to lower the chair as much as I can. 
You might have to have them sit on a low stool or something so that you can get high enough because you're going to comb all of this hair up straight up from their head. All the way up until you've got it pretty good. Then just hold it there. You don't need to have the ends all the way. You're going to comb this down back here. Okay, now this is where we're going we're gonna to get our guide. We're going to take a piece from the back. So we're getting our guide from the back. Grab a piece right there. And you're going to pull it all the way up until... You see that? That's how much we're going to cut off for the layers. Now this seems really scary, but I promise you it will look great. So this is where we're going to cut. So bring your fingers up to where you're going to cut. And then you're taking all of this hair you're just point cutting down. Don't cut your fingers in big chunks all the way off there. You can tip it the other way to make it a little bit easier. So now you have that length established. Check it one more time. Bring it up. Bring your guide down here. Bring it all the way up. See, I'm still a little bit long, so I need to take about another inch off of this. Point cut. Always point cut when you're doing this and fan the hair out a little bit. So there's no really solid yucky lines in there. Okay, so now you have the length. So you keep it up here, you're going to fan it out. The way I do this is I comb it straight and then I just dig my knuckles in like that and it makes this really pretty fan. Put the comb right there and your thumb can hold on to it and you're just going to chunk out like you do on the ends. Just Fan it really, really soft and just get big chunks to point out in it. Just go through until it's starting to look a little bit more see-through, not so dense, not like a broom. You want it more like a, like a spiky fan, like in there. Just go ahead and finish that up. You can do as much or as little as you want. I think that looks about good. And then you just shake it out. Look for some more thick spots. Maybe right there's a little bit thick. You can see the light is a little bit darker. Go in there and just chunk, check it out. Okay, and then you just let go. And you can calm it down. Get all that dry hair out. Now there's one more step and then we'll be done. But you can already see that these layers blend in really great. There's not any obnoxious lines. And the reason why that happens is because the head is round and you're pulling it straight up and cutting it in a straight line. So when it falls, it's perfectly blended all the way down. So the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start over here by the face. And I'm going to put some more layers just around her face because we left this perimeter out, remember? So I'm going to give her some, some layers just around the perimeter here. And then I actually have one more step that I like. So there's two more steps. We're going to do the layers around the perimeter. And the way I do this, you decide where you want them. Do you want them to start like right below your chin or a little bit longer? Mm, maybe a little bit longer. Maybe right here? Yeah. Is that good? Okay. So we're going to take this section of hair. should just be whatever's in front of the ear. You're going to hold your left hand if you're left right-handed anyway. So this is my left hand over here that's holding the hair. And I'm going to bring my fingers right about to where we want to have those layers start. Right there. And I'm going to just take my scissors at an angle like this and just slowly, it's called like talking. This is what you do with your scissors. You just go down and you slowly layer all the way down. And you can just do it if you see a few pieces you missed right here. You can just go in and do a little bit more. And that should just give you a really nice layer around the face. We're going to do that on the other side too. And take just that section right in front of her ear. Now this, this one's a little bit more tricky because if you're right-handed, you have to flip your head down like this. And I like to get right in front of them. And then you, so you flip your wrist upside down and you're going to talk down this way. So you go right about there and you just go all the way down. 
And you're going to want to come in here and check and make sure your layers are about the same length. on the ends you can just plain cut that. There we go. And so a lot of this is just looking at it, making sure it looks even. Doing a little bit more where you think it needs it. You can pocket just a little bit on that. Just lock the scissors down the strands of hair that look a little bit too thick. Alright. Okay. And then the last step, after you're happy with the layers in the front, you're going to go through. And we're going to make sure that the, the layers we did on the top match up with these on the bottom. So I'm going to just take section starting at the right side front of her hair and I'm going to pull them straight out from her head and just make sure. I'm just kind of checking the haircut now. If you see any little split ends you can knock those off too but if you don't see any big points it blends pretty well. Like that's pretty good. Maybe just a teeny bit right there. And take it straight out. See right here we have a little bit of difference because it's like we want this is the longest part so we can just blend it in just a little bit with quick cut in the back. So you have layers as short and this works on any length of hair because what you're doing is you're taking the guide from however short it is. If her hair was this short and I pulled it up then the layers would be a lot more dramatic. They'd be like short but they would still blend in so you could have that like spiky PC look. Um, I do think it works better on at least shoulder length or longer hair just because there's not much length on the bottom anymore after that. And that's it. Mm -hmm.